Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and happy Sunday. I hope everyone has had a great weekend so far. For me, it has flown by way too quickly. I'm really sad um, that really the whole month is basically gone. But here we are, my third cash stuffing of October. And I have one more to do this week, so Friday, and then I will be caught up. So I will be working with $710 again today. So we're going to get right on into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, six twenty, six thirty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, seven hundred, seven hundred and five, and seven hundred and ten. I am filming this really early in the morning. Like I think it's one o'clock in the morning. So I will be going to bed once I get this finished and I'll probably wake up early to edit and post. Okay. So we're going to do the investments first as per usual. This has to get done. Um, so I'm going to be pulling 175 for that. So 120, 40, 60, 70, and 75. And I am just shoving everything into my bare um, bag here until I do my cash condensing because I'm not doing um, multiple trips back to the bank anymore. Like when I get my cash, I get my cash, but I'm not going to go back and forth between putting in money, taking out money because I actually have them ask me, well, if you're taking out money, why don't you just use the money that you're putting in? And I explained to them that this money is for, you know, my investments and this is for my cash stuffing and a lot of them don't get it. So I just decided I'm going to hold on to the cash now until I do my monthly cash condensing video. And that's the way it's going to be. Okay. Next we've got here my phone envelope. Now, I have all of the same labels with the same holographic um, vinyl. And this one is obviously unlabeled. I have a few other ones that I might want to add, but I'm contemplating because I don't know which font this is. I don't really know. I might do a different script font if I can find someone um, to make a similar one for me on Etsy. I have been looking. But that is why this process has been so slow. I don't really want to change out all of my envelopes and I don't want one, one or two that don't match. So I'm trying to find something that's as close to being that font as possible. I actually had someone kindly make these for me when I first started my journey and he didn't charge me anything. I just went out personally and got the vinyl myself and he picked out the font for me. So I love them. I just need a few more. Um, okay. So for this one here, I will be adding in $20 for my phone bill. And again, this is long past due. Um, all of the bills come out of my account cushion and I pay it back like with the cash. So this is actually September's and October's bill because my phone bill is only $70 a month. So now the envelope has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110, 115, 120, 125, and 130. Okay. And then next I've got date night, which will be receiving $25. Now date night has 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, and 175. Um, I am debating when I do my condensing video of just getting a few prop smaller bills denominations for this so I can just kind of keep it in the bank 
because it kind of is a hassle to have to go through and check my statement to see what was spent for date night. So I might end up doing that. And then if I have like my either like um, placeholders in here or I'll just do like a running tally instead on like a budget sheet, which is something I'm also considering. But I don't think I want to just keep the cash in here. Um, all right. So then family envelope. <clears throat> if you remember from my last video, this was the household envelope. And because I am using this to house some cash to give to my dad, I decided to change it to the family em envelope because I think that would be more appropriate. So today I will be adding in $15 for this. And this is for two months worth again, basically, of what I was able to set aside for, for him and hopefully he'll take it. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, and 25. So 225. All right, and this is my just-in-case envelope, which is essentially my account cushion. So I always put money in there when I'm able to, to account for anything that was not budgeted or if I've overspent. So say I had, let's just say $100 set aside for date night and I ended up spending $115 with the tip, then I would pull out of that and I would just pay it back and I'm not pulling from anything else and no harm, no foul. So for this guy, I will be using $20 today and I'll just grab 20 and now it has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 160. Okay, and then my last envelope that I will be stuffing in this binder is my business envelope. And that will be receiving $30 today. Wow. Uh, $30. So now it has 50, 1, 50, 2, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. 300 bucks, which is awesome. Okay, and like I said, nothing else. And we're going to move along into my everyday binder here. And my home envelope will be receiving $375 today. That gets the bulk of my cash every single week because besides my investments, this is my highest priority. Again, very grateful for the situation I am in to be able to do this. Uh, so I've got $100, $200, $300, $350, 350 360, 370, and 375. Dang it, I did not get the proper change again. <laughs> God. I was certain that I would have had that this go. That's okay. I will make change and do what I have to do to make that work. Okay, so now I've got one more cash stuffing for Friday, and then I can do my condensing and get this money in the bank. I'm very excited for that. I will be making uh, another term deposit with this, and when I do my update video and do my um, placeholders, then it'll be really cool to have that in there, just instead of, you know, seeing an em empty envelope thinking I'm starting from zero. So look out for that. I am super stoked. So now we've got 
100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000. So 100, 200, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2000. 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 96, 600, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So $2,625. And let's really quickly throw in this 50 and grab some change. Let's see, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, 1500, 600, all right, there we go, there we go. Only two more to go. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay, and then for my gift envelope, I will be putting in $20. So 20, so now it has, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, and 25. So 225 now. Um, just a really quick aside guys, I still have all of this cash sitting in self care and I am so excited to spend it. Like I said, I have like an entire list of stuff that I've been putting off and that I've researched and that I want to buy, but it's kind of hard going through the list to narrow down what you want to get. Like there's a few things that, um, I want that should probably be used uh, for like my business expense so I might just do it and separate it like that but then I also have like some other items like skincare items and other stuff like that that I'm really looking forward to getting and I just kind of want <laughs> all of it right now <laughs> but I can't do that that's that's not the point of this so I need to narrow it down and I am looking for a sale I, I won't just, you know, like, since I have the money, I won't just necessarily go wild and spend it all immediately. Okay, so then I have my last $30, so 10 20 and 30 And again, this is going to go into my In the Works Savings Challenge binder. So... I am looking at getting some, either some labels or something for this, and um, I am working on the challenges. There are some other ones also that I want to get. Um, I don't even know who the Etsy artist is who makes them, but they're cute, like little, almost like cardstock scenes. And then you have like little stickers to add onto the scene, and I freaking think those are so cute. There was like a beaver one. There was like a ocean scene type one that I've seen. And there are so many other wonderful, beautiful challenges um, that I am interested in. But for now, I'm going to start slow and just, just do a few at a time. And then once I get more into that, I will definitely be adding more into the rotation. Because, oof, there are, there are just so many good ones. It's how do you guys choose? It's probably why a lot of people end up having... It seems like so many to go through like in rotation because I just I want them all so anyways now for um, the money that I'm setting aside for this savings challenges that I will be doing here in the near near future it has 20 40 60 70 80 90 100 10 20 30 40 
50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 205, and 210. Okay. And that's it. I will be back Friday, you guys, with my last cash stuffing of October. And then I will do, like I said, the bill condensing. Um, and I just need to work out a few more things with that. Whether I'm going to use the budget sheets, like I said, and or the, the placeholders. Uh, so again, I am deciding which ones I want off of Etsy or if I can, you know, try my hand at making some that actually look good. But for now, I have some just really not so great makeshift ones that I made just with uh, Canva really quickly and I printed them out and they're not exactly the same size as, as money even, but I'm just going to make it work for now and then I will slowly upgrade as I can. So it's not a huge, huge rush for me. I think it's just the, um, the presentation of, you know, switching the money out and that will help to keep me motivated to see the envelopes still have stuff in it that I'm not, you know, mentally starting from zero each time I take the money out and put it in the bank. Okay, that is it, you guys. That is all I have for today. I hope you guys have a super great rest of your Sunday, and I will see you guys on Friday with my next cash stuffing video. And yeah, take care in the meantime. Stay safe. Lots of love. Bye.